Hello everyone, my name is Nell Escher. I'm a PhD student. My co-author is Nikola Banovich. We are both in the computer science department at the University of Michigan, and our paper is Exposing Error in Poverty Management Technology, a Method for Auditing Government Benefit Screening Tools. E-government is this move to provide state services through the internet or leveraging other information technology. This has the potential to do some great things like improving access to government services and reducing administrative workload. However, automated services can fail, which has a huge impact for affected people and can cut off access to vital resources. These failures can be hard to detect because people tend to rely on information provided by the government and can be hard to contest as isolated complaints may not trigger an investigation. In this presentation, I will discuss auditing online government services with the aim of detecting errors before they affect people making embedded errors visible, and determining the extent of problems, which can allow organizations and individuals to articulate demands for change. In America, applicants are means-tested for many government benefits programs. Households must fill out long applications to prove their financial situation is dire, to prove they fit within the legal criteria for eligibility. These programs help people afford food, health care, child care, and other necessities. Applying for benefits is a process that takes weeks and months and is quite invasive, so some agencies make available eligibility screening tools. You don't receive benefits from filling these out, but you do get a hint about whether or not you will qualify, whether it might be worthwhile for your family to embark on the protracted benefits application process. It's hard to know whether you qualify for benefits at the outset without these tools, because eligibility rules are sprinkled across handbooks that are hundreds of pages long and written in dense legalese. Benefits eligibility tools apply some of the tests for eligibility. Enter your income, and it will determine whether that's above the income threshold for a family of your size, etc. We created a method for auditing these benefits eligibility screening tools, which can be adapted to screening tools in any jurisdiction in the United States, with no need to secure state cooperation prior to conducting the audit. Our method locates embedded errors, by which we mean the incorrect application of the legal rules to households rather than bugs that are obvious to users, like application crashes. Are these tools giving out good advice about household eligibility? We illustrate our method on the Pennsylvania Do I Qualify screening tool, which covers a population of 12 million people, and it advises families about their eligibility for five different benefits programs. First in our method, we generate test households. We start with external data sets, always attempting to choose those that cover the same jurisdiction as the screening tool. So since we targeted a Pennsylvania state tool, we used a census data set that described Pennsylvania families. For fields solicited by the tool but not present in the base dataset, we located supplemental datasets. We trained a machine learning model on columns in common between the base dataset and supplemental dataset, and then predicted the missing values in the base dataset. In the end, we have a dataset of tractable size, which contains all the fields that the screening tool solicits, which is arguably representative. Next, we retrieve eligibility predictions for our test households from the Do I Qualify screening tool. We take our test household set and dump it into a SQL database. We use them in a Python script that automates interaction with the screening tool, populating the answers to screening tool's questions from the database that holds our test households. Our scripts open the screening tool webpage in a browser and simulate interaction. These scripts allowed us to enter over 68,000 test families over the course of about 11 days without worries of human error and data entry. We scrape the results page from the screening tool and store the determinations for each household. Next, a legal expert translates the eligibility rules into formal code models. We end up with a Python function for each benefit that accepts the household's information as an argument and returns a Boolean indicating whether the household is eligible for that benefit. This is an excerpt from our appendix. We have our legal text on the left and our Python function that encodes the relevant rules from that text on the right. We pass our households into those functions to get our ground truth determinations. Finally, we compare the determinations returned by the screening tool and those from our formal models. Any conflict, we investigate it as a potential error. For time, I'll only dig into the subsidized childcare benefit results. This program is set out in a Pennsylvania statute. Families with a child who need supervision and whose income falls below 200% of the Federal Poverty Income Guidelines are eligible. The screening tool predicted that zero families in our test set of 68,000 were eligible for the subsidized childcare benefit, while our formalization marks at least 4.6% of families as eligible. So, for at least a year, any family who turned to this tool, wanting to know whether they might be able to get relief from the staggering costs of childcare in America, received the advice, the incorrect advice, in some cases, that they didn't qualify for benefits. Every other benefit we tested also had errors, though these were more nuanced, and we could trace some of them to specific provisions in the eligibility rules that the screening tool incorrectly implemented. But a nice update, some of the errors we exposed have been corrected in the Do I Qualify screening tool. 
The updates swiftly followed media coverage of our study, suggesting that coordination with other interested groups and public attention might be required to correct errors. Some implications for the e-government context are that there might not be adequate support for building, testing, and maintaining technical systems, especially when working with a constrained agency budget. Our work suggesting that mistrust of algorithmic decision-making systems can be justifiable. So it's known that millions of people who qualify for benefits in the United States don't receive them. And some households may not be interested in applying for benefits in the first place, but there's an unknown number of families slipping through the system because the system is just built wrong. This project gives just a peek into how wrong we got one of the components of the United States automated benefit system. We get rid of means testing. Instead of crafting this category of the deserving poor and haphazardly enforcing it, just extend these benefits to everyone. We can provide people with much better care. Thank you.